All right, folks, today I'm here with John Michael Cooper from Las Vegas, Nevada. Most of you know who he is. If you've heard anything about that whole trash the dress craze, this is basically the guy that invented it, and he's absolutely one of my favorite photographers. And then I also hate him a lot because he makes me want to be a bus driver every time I see his images. So, uh, John, say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. Right on, dude. Like I said, I, I know you and I have had lots of conversations in the past, and I just I admire you so much for who you are and what you do, even though, again, on many, many levels, it's complete polar opposite of what I do and how I do things. But you, like, live your brand and your whole – everything about you just, like, emanates what you're doing, and that's something that is to be commended and – so I just want to come in and just try to blow sunshine up your ass and embarrass you in front of all these people. So, <laughs> anyway, dude, tell me a little bit about what makes you tick and uh, your style of photography and what do you think on this whole wedding thing? Um, well, you know, I sort of uh, – the whole – there's a long story, which I, I ended up getting sidelined into wedding photography, but um, probably like in uh, 2000, 2001, I just started to uh, – uh, sidestep what was expected of me on the wedding day and start doing my own thing and uh, since then I've just been uh, pretty much just throwing things at the fan and uh, <laughs> seeing how it flies um, uh, just uh, you know pretty much sidestepping convention when I decided to go the last time around I was like you know what I'm just going to uh, do the same thing I've done in my personal stuff and if it sticks it sticks if it doesn't you know I'm still going to have a good time so but you know, ironically, people uh, people dig it, so uh, it's working out for me. So I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep keep doing the stuff I like. Well, I think it's awesome. I think you, again, like that whole thing when you started. I remember seeing some of those early images of brides laying in like a muddy puddle and stuff, and that kind of that whole trash the dress thing just kind of like caught on and and took off. And now, uh, again, like, is that something that you're like flattered that everybody's doing it, or is it more annoying that everybody's doing it? Or. <laughs> um. Well, you know, it's uh, getting getting brides in in kind of awkward situations has just been kind of a natural thing for uh, that happens normally in my bridal sessions, and right. they just uh, the brides keep letting me do it. Um, so I actually don't I actually don't offer trash dress sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, might be a natural end to uh, the sessions I do anyway. Right, right. But um, you know, actually, I'm flattered. You know, someone someone uh, took the idea, ran with it. Um, uh, the cool thing is, it's uh, it didn't change the photographer's paradigm as much as it changed some of the bride's paradigm, right. which is a much harder thing to uh, to convince people. You know, when they're coming to us and say, "Hey, uh, I may not get my dress dirty, but I'll go a little bit farther than that would have gone last year," which right. is a uh, which is a cool thing. So I'm uh, I'm stoked about that. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you got a big tour coming up. You're getting in a big old RV, and you're going to hit a bunch of cities all over the place. So people can check that out at veryaltf.com. How's that going to be different than your um, your thing with those uh, Boutwell kids? You know. Well, you know it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little different. Of course, uh, it's just going to be a one day thing. Um, uh, the anti workshop of the Boutwells is probably a little more intense. You're uh, if people are wanting to go to that, you might want to wait for something. Uh, the uh, the anti workshop is. Uh, is uh, three three long days, um, uh, and you know you uh, throw us with with the Batwells. You got something crazy usually yeah. happening. Yeah, I know. The uh, the the RV trip is just going to be a one one long intense day. Uh, we're going to uh, start off simple and just build up until uh, people start dropping off. Right now. Uh, so it's either going to be a really cool idea. Or it's going to be a really bad idea, it's stuck in an RV for uh, 32 days. But right on. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're game for it, so whatever people are ready for. So we're, it's going to be a fun time. Right on, man. Well, I really appreciate you joining us. And, again, this B-School is launching in another month or so, and I definitely want you to be a part of it. we got our exciting things, and people just need to know about you. And you're just, again, you're uh, a leader in this industry, and I love how <laughs> – I mean, I always think like I don't really care what other people think, but you don't care what other people think, and that's just that's awesome. You got that uh, killer Madonna attitude, like whatever. <laughs> and uh, again, you're just an inspiration. I just wanted to have you on here, and, and I really appreciate you taking the time, man. Well, thanks. Uh, anytime I can contribute, I'm I'm happy to. So right on, you're uh, you're you're inspiration to me also. So cool. Well, I'm again, always, have fun on that I'm road trip, and uh, we'll be checking out your blog and follow along. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, John. All right, All right, take care. All right, later.